pushes. Haha, <laughs> do you guys remember that intro? That was awesome. But anyhow, hey guys, it's Kiralis and welcome everybody to the Hermitcraft Feed the Beast Infinity Server. This is not an episode. Well, this is an episode, but it's not an episode. It's not an episode one. Episode Deception. Because I've been seeing tons of you asking, oh, I live in a hole in a wall, by the way. Where are your Feed the Beast episodes? I see you in other Hermit videos, but you're not releasing them on your channel. And I'm going to tell you why, okay? I'm going to show you some of my base here, which is not really a base, it's a hole in a wall. But main reason why I don't record Feed the Beast as a series is mainly because I don't want to let any people down anymore. I start something, I get bored, and I just quit it. And then people get sad, and I've, I've even been seeing people now, like, being like all ragey, calling me names because I don't record this series uh, and release it on my channel as, as videos or episodes. And I don't want to start something, which I don't want to, which I don't complete, if you know what I mean. So what I'm going to do, I might live stream some, we already did like one or two live streams of, of this server and that was pretty cool. Like not, not announced on YouTube, not nothing, just started in the live stream and just chilled with you guys. So it was pretty awesome. So thank you so much for coming out. But we might live stream some action, all right? We might live stream some action. I might do some update videos if I continue playing here and stuff like that. But I'm not going to start a whole series on it. I'm so sorry. If you want to check out the other Hermits, there's going to be links in the description for their channels. And they are really active on the server. Like, I mean, we got four other people online. Hypno, Mich Mich Michlal, Michael, uh, Zuljin and Joe at this point. And everybody's recording or live streaming and it's pretty cool. But I'm not going to do a series. So I'm really sorry, everybody, right? Look at, my, look at the mice. Look at the mice. Look at the mice. Uh, let me see. There we go. Eyes. There. Perfect. I am sorry from the bottom of my heart. I'm not gonna do a series on here. Because I don't want to disappoint anyone. And that is the main reason. I don't wanna get bored and disappoint people with that we're just quitting the series. But I'm gonna show you my base anyhow, okay? This is my base on, on the server and it's just a hole in the wall. I don't wanna do any houses at this point. I just wanna do some machinery, kinda learn some mods and just have a great time chilling with the hermits here. This is my Tinker's Construct area. It's pretty simple. There's my old jetpack. Now I've got this, which looks absolutely horrible. But it's called Vivern Helm. It's called Vivern Chestplate. It's called Vivern Leggings and Vivern Boots. It's from the Dr Draconic Evolution and it's so OP. It is so fast that that I can't really handle myself. I can't control myself. It's just too fast, but it's awesome anyhow. So I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna show you guys the end where you acquire the stuffs for it. And it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty beast. I also got this, which King Mighty Daddy helped me. If you watch his videos, you kind of saw that I died a couple of times. The angel ring, that is pretty awesome. So that is my Tinker's contract area. It's just, you know, just a little simple thing just to get me set up. I've started some basic AE here, Applied Energetics, and I got my little control panel. I've got my stuffs here, my drives. I even made those 64Ks. So, you know, I'm getting there, getting there, pretty amazing. I got my Mistcroft books here, which is kind of like all linked to like different places, the query age and stuff like that. Ages, it's called, not dimension, I guess. Ages. So that's pretty awesome. This is kind of cool. This is, I don't know really what that comes from. It comes from Tomcroft, the Crimson outfit and I have to say this is one of the purdiest things I've seen take a picky at this take a picky I mean how boss doesn't that look I mean crap I just did something okay that doesn't matter but just look at it this model of that is just breathtaking I love it I love it so Tomcraft is something I'm gonna get into in the future what did I take some redstone let's put it back and be happy about it 256 stacks. Don't worry. I got plenty more later on to show you guys. All right. So let me just put this back here on this. Let me just put on my armor and all is good. So this is my little area, working area, where I kind of craft the stuff. And it's so convenient using the AE now because, you know, I just put, okay, I, I need this upgrade here, for example. Shift click it. It's there. It takes the stuff out of my stuff uh, or my, my computer things. And it's so easy to craft stuff. Here is all my machinery at this point. I don't really have much more than this. We got some energy cells. We got some lava generators as backup power. We got a bunch of those, those uh, thermal, thermal expansion machines. And you know what? It's kind of basic, simple, but 
it does me good at this point. This is my baby. This is the uh, the charge pad for from Endertech. And whenever I'm down on energy in my suit or something, I just stand here or my tools and it's just zzz, those little cool particles and it's kind of awesome. Let me just see if we can maybe if I just do this. Oh no, it won't do that because I've got this, the Vivian Flux capacitor. So maybe if I hide, hide that away here, uh, let me see here. Uh, am I charged? I'm fully charged. Dang it. Let me just do that once more and see if we can see the particles emitting. Urgh, hurt myself. Okay, so now we took some damage here, as you can see here. We got, we lost some, some power RF redstone flux, I think it is, just to be you know, perfect, professional. Let me see here. Does it charge me? Why you no charge? Okay, it's already charged, so I did lose so little, so it doesn't really show up. I'm sorry, that was a little derp, but it kind of emits cool particles, and it's kind of kind of purdy that way. We got some QED here, QED stuff, and this makes kind of cool stuff. Uh, I'm using a lot of QED piping, as you can see, those little like nodes and stuff, stuff from extra utilities. So the QEDs are kind of kind of decent. Here, over here, this is not. Okay, this is kind of my base. This is where I, I got a doggy, of course, because the doggy is kind of kind of legit. Those banners are from the Tomcraft guys. I stole them. I'm sorry, Tomcraft guys. I did take them. Here is my powering system. This is what powers my base at this point. It's a big reactor. Well, it's not a big reactor, but it's from the big reactor mod. Uh, I should maybe exchange the, the the redstone in here as a cooled material for maybe Ender. I think resonant ender i think is better or even like the little snowy or icy thing but we might get to that here's the control panel and at this point i'm making about seven thousand flux per tick rf per tick and this is kind of adjustable i got five cells in this bad boy and you can adjust them up and down how you want i think those are 100 percent or zero percent so they're all down into the machine this one this one this one is on 100 so it's all up so that is not even powering not in in a working state and this is 50 percent down and this does me for power at this point what i do i have a big big quarry and this is not connected to the aee at this point this is just something which takes stuff from the core this is what we did on the live stream by the way so this takes stuff from my quarry it just ends up here and it's going to be connected to the ae in a later stage but for now i got 1300 stacks of aiden <laughs> i'm not going to tell you that but this is how it works all right so here is that thing which powers my big reactor this comes from the from the quarry thingy and ends up here it gets pumped into this side here into this chest and that is my fuel it's yellowium ingots all right so i, I got a bunch of them i think we got 153 stacks here and here we got a chest full and the cool thing about this is as soon as as long as you got a query running query 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 running this won't be any big issue because you will get more than this reactor is taking at this point and this is the waste it makes waste which is called cyanide something something and that is something which you can transform into other stuff in a later stage because those reactors there's passive reactors and this is there's active reactors i think this is a i don't know but the other ones <laughs> the other ones could you can kind of like attach turbines into them and that that looks so freaking cool the models are absolutely incredible so this is something we might get into a live stream or whatnot but this is basically what i've got at my base at this point i've got this little ghetto set up here with my first reactor and I kind of felt like I got I had so much stuff and I was like I can't have my reactor here because it looks derp. So I still had my stuff running, so I had to have power. So what I did, I just set up another one here. I built another one and I kind of kept that. So we have two. So this might be active or we might move that in a later stage. Some ghetto AE automated system set up here. So I put stuff in here, it kind of prints print, print presses some pre i don't know what you call them but you know what i mean right and they end up in this chest over here this printed silicons and circuits and whatnot <laughs> my ghetto setup for my mistcraft this is going to be purified in a stage but it's so cool it's kind of it's so chill I'm not doing a series at this point on this because this is not how i would have it on a series i would make a pretty room for it now i can just stick it here and be all happy about it up here is my <laughs> my ghetto setup of witch farms before i had a quarry i kind of had to have like stuff from different spawners so i just set this up and this is at this point i think it's witches now in the vanilla spawners which i kind of transported here so they just fall down here the vacuum hoppers they scoop up everything and it ends up here not really much stuff because i haven't been afking here 
But you know what? I have different purposes at some points. I need some glow redstone, glowstone, whatnot. I put them on. Otherwise, I just use me my. Let me see if I can. The suit. It's just too fast for me. Otherwise, I have my dose, those spawners here. They're from the Ender IO mod. And you can. This one is Enderman. So if I need uh, Ender Pearls, I just put that on. And this requires power, though. And this is a skeleton, uh, which I think I'm going to put in the Nether later on. Or actually, no, I'm just going to use the vanilla ones. Because I'm thinking in a live stream we could build a, a Wither. Skeleton farm in the nether and also a uh, uh, what you gonna call them? Which no witcher? What you call those those big ones? Those big monsters which you spawn from the withers? Withers! I'm such a derp at some points. I love it though. Some withers, all right. So we might do that on a live stream. I'm not gonna do that off camera at this point. If we travel to the quarry age, I'm gonna show you my quarry <laughs> because that's kind of pointless. But hey, so if I just bring up the map. This is other people's quarries over here. We have those old school quarries. We have somebody, I think Hypno is here uh, and XB maybe is doing something. This is my area. Okay, I'm, I'm, you know what? I got a little quarry going and it's freaking humongous. It's an ender quarry with uh, an app upgrade, a speed two upgrade. So it's running here and it is powering a humongous area at this point. So all the stuff I need is basically got to me for free from this quarry and the quarry. So if you're using quarries, this is the quarry for you guys. There is no better quarry than this at this point, I, I, in my opinion, but I'm not a mod professional, all right? And you can add tons of upgrades. You can add fortune picks or fortune upgrades. You can add silk touch upgrades and it's just awesome. And this is powered by a Tesseract for my base. So this kind of wireless power for my base. And if we go back, to my little base here, I'm gonna show you a thing, a thing here. So the things from the inner quarry they end up here in the uh, in the in the inner chest. They get pumped down to this buffer chest, which we did on live stream. And here in this, there's different filters. So this filter here, it kind of transports those materials which I set it in into into the things over here. The rest, for example, like we got this, which is kind of like iron ore, iron ore, lead ore, lapis, lazulis, a redstone tin ore, and those valuable materials which you can smelt, gets dropped down to this, which is the draconic chest. And draconic chest is awesome. It requires tons of power, but it smelts everything for you, and it even doubles the amount. So see, it gets automated in here. It smelts it. It gets pulled out and back into the to the barrels here from Jabba. I love it. That is that is pretty awesome. Hey, doggy. And what else is there to see? Oh yeah, we can travel. Let me see here. Where is that? We're gonna go to the Nether spawn town. And here I'm gonna show you. Let me see here. Where is the? You know what? Let's go to D Max base. This is my. This was my my previous shortcut. So for those watching. Uh, Dmax videos of, of Infinity. You see me here all the time. By the way, I gave I gave him a present from Keralis with tons of man love. I'm not gonna open it, so check out Dmax point of view what it is. It's nothing spectacular, but it's not a present anyhow. The end. Let me show you. So the draconic evolution is basically made out of. Let me see. This is a comment, by the way. This is a comment thingy, uh, which kind of is fine in the end. I think the dragon is still alive, by the way. Because you can even get better armor than this if you kill a dragon, I think. But those meteors... Let me see if we can see some. There we go. Here is one. The draconium, draconium ore. And this is what gets you started with all the draconium evolution. You need to travel to the end and get tons of those that stuff. There's a main island, I think. Or is it to the west or is it to the east? Let me just travel a little bit here. There's the main island. This is the main island. You can find those little things over here and you can just mine them. Or you can search for those comments. Hello, dragon. You can search for those common, uh, comets uh, or meteors or whatnot, I think they're called. And they're kind of scattered all over the place. It's pretty dark and dangerous in here. So I wouldn't recommend going here with just a jetpack. But hey, if you find one of those, you're good to go. But otherwise, just farm it on the main island. Get yourself the suit with those angel wings. And you're good to go but that is how you acquire that material and there's so much of it i kind of wish we could kill the dragon so i could get better armor but at this point i'm pretty much indestructible kind of and if we go back let me see where is your overworld is that the spawn village maybe yeah it is the spawn village for those who hasn't watched haven't watched any episodes of of the other hermits 
we have a, a pretty much a ghetto setup when it comes to a spawn village. We have a little few bases here. We got Hypno over here, which has got a pretty base. I kind of promised Hypno to kind of remake his entrance with the bushes. We need to bushify it even more, he said. Is he in here? <laughs> He's got my eyes. That's awesome. Oh, look at this. Is this my fortune pick? It is my fortune pick. Oh, 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 run away, run away, girls, run away, girls. Oh, I didn't even steal some. I'm gonna get him back. There we go. <laughs> I love it. So there is Hypno's little place, honey hole, hiding hole. We got Zul'jin here, which is in XP's base, I think. Here, we have caught <laughs> this man stealing from somebody else. No, I'm just kidding. I think this might be XP's house. I'm not really sure. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Here is King Magnet Daddy's base. He's a little like temporary honey hole, hiding hole in, in the in the thingy, in the spawn town. He's got this amazing blaze spawner, which I like. This glass is so awesome, by the way. You can see the dark glass. This is really a cool, cool glass because you can see through it, but it doesn't let any light pass it. So if you're building like a, a mob spawner in the open and you just want to have it purified, this is the glass to use. You can just build it here in the open and they will still be spawning because inside there, it's pitch black. Pretty amazing. And I don't think there's more than that. Is there anything I want to show you more on this episode? No, it's not an episode. It's just a little update, okay? It's just an update. Don't take it for an episode. What is that, by the way? Is that the Ender Lily seeds? That kind of drops you. If you demolish one, it should drop you a seed and an Ender Pearl. Question if you can automate that. That would be pretty decent. I don't know if that works, but hey, might try it out. So my next step in the game is to build a witch, a wither skeleton farm and a wither farm somehow. But I might do that on live stream so you guys don't miss out. And, <laughs> and then, no and then. But if I ever do a live stream on this, I'm gonna announce a little quick uh, video on YouTube so you guys don't miss if you wanna see more. But what goes for a series, guys, I'd rather you just watch that Hermits. They're doing a fantastic work. I'm having so much fun watching that perspectives of, of their Let's Plays. But what goes for me, I don't want to disappoint you guys. Like, honestly, I, I, I just want to get you guys happy, but no disappointments. So no bad words, no, no cussing. Uh, hopefully you guys still enjoy my decision or accept my decision on this. I love you guys to bits, you know that. Like, there's, there's no biggie, but... I don't want to get bored, because I got a funny feeling I'm going to get bored. Oh, by the way, have you seen my magnet? Magnet is awesome. Look at this. I break stuffs, I move away, and it sucks them back into me. It's awesome, by the way. It's awesome. <laughs> what is Zul'jin doing here? I love his hat. The hat is humongous. Oh, no, 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 he's doing, he's doing witcher stuff on me, <laughs> or something at least. But I, honestly, guys, I hope you, you accept my decision on it, and I hope you're gonna be fine with some updates. If I play here or not play here, is, I don't know for how long I'm be, gonna be keeping my inspiration up. But it's so cool just... Hello? Hello? Just keeping it around Hermes, just spending some time with them, chatting with them on TeamSpeak, and not having to do a serious which will lead to disappointment because I will get bored. Yeah. Guys. Oh, by the way, take a peek at this. This is from the Conjuring Evolution. The charm of this location. I got this, the resonant exchanger is amazing for building. But anyhow, this. Bam. Uh-huh, back at my base. So you can make one and it's fairly, let me just see, fairly cheap if you get into the end and get some of this, uh, this, this location. It's made out of those uh, draconium dusts, some blaze powders, and an eye of ender. And it's got, I think it's 30 charges or something. No, 20 charges. And you set a point, use it, and you get back to the spot where you set it. So that is pretty neat and pretty nifty. So everybody, this is it. Thank you so much for this little update video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, like honestly, oh, by the way, this is something we did on a live stream as well. We did this little farm here, the essence berry bushes down here. And from the last one, which we did a couple of days ago, I've already got 111 stacks of it. And this is the XP. It's, it's pretty decent, right? Because you can use it as XP to boost your levels. Or 
You could use a sewer beneath this with an Acomos, Acomos activator, uh, poop that stuff out on the sewage, and it transforms the, 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 the XP from this bush into mob essence, which can then power your... Uh, your mob farm from Minecraft is reloaded. So that is something I got in mind. Maybe we should do that in the future. But any house, any house, any who's? I think any who's? Who says that? King McDaddy, right? I think I've, I think it's King McDaddy. Thank you so much for watching my hole in the wall. And please do accept my decision, guys. Like, I don't want to disappoint you. I know there's going to be hard feelings because a lot of people are going to be happy that you see a video which is FTB Infinity and the Skirales and yeah, I'm going to watch it. But then it's just this disappointment video. Once again, disappointment. <laughs> no, <laughs> let me guess the bits. Thank you so much for watching. Check out for the videos, uh, the, the, the update videos, and also for the videos when I'm going to be live streaming this. And watch that Hermits. They're having a blast. They're doing their stuffs. And it's modded. It's pretty. It's awesome. Thank you so much for watching this. Big Potato Retcha. And see you guys around. Bye bye.